Tunisia is a huge challenge. There are so many things to be done. We decided to divide ourselves from three groups, citizenship, social business, and culture. The culture is what leads to doing great things, what leads to democracy, what leads to change. You are challenged. You learn how to think for yourself. We're building models of cultural events that do not depend on a lot of funding. We're trying to bring art, literature, and books back into the heart of Tunisian culture. Instead of everyone creating an association, we encourage some of these associations to take on a model that resembles more of a social business model. We wanted to start identifying who is doing social entrepreneurship and actually having an impact. Nos enfants ont deux handicaps. Ils ont leur handicap mental ou physique, mais surtout ils ont aussi un handicap social parce qu'ils appartiennent tous à des familles très nécessiteuses. They're serving 70 handicapped people from 5 until 50 years old. The only sources of revenue that they have are a big fair that they throw once a year. Our goal is to help them become sustainable. The citizenship group is here to assess and monitor the participation of youth in politics. There will be a report published about uh, the different political parties and the different civil society groups and the way they involve young people. If we want to change this country, we absolutely have to count on youth and work on involvement of youth in the Tunisian politics. This is the laboratory of democracy in the Arab world. And if it succeeds here, it will give a huge hope to the other countries to succeed.